Section 11.5, vapor pressure. If you were to leave a glass of water on the table, some of the water at the top of the, of top of the liquid, top of the water, would have enough kinetic energy to escape the intermolecular bonds of the other water molecules and go into the air. The problem about an open container is that it will never go back into the water. It simply goes away from the water and then more water will evaporate, more water will evaporate, and eventually the water be, uh, is gone. If you have a closed container, say, say a water bottle with a lid on it, what you'll notice is that above the water, you're going to have little drops of water on the plastic bottle. You can see that because what's happening is that the surface of the water, there's lots of molecules that have enough energy to go into the, into the uh, air above the water. Well, eventually lots and lots of air molecules or lots and lots of water molecules are in the, uh, the gas phase. Any of the water that touch, any of the gas that touches the water again, any of the water vapor gas that touches the liquid water again is reabsorbed into the liquid. Okay, so because there's nowhere for that, for that gas to go. The, the, the bottle is sealed and the more and more and more water that gets into the air, the more it'll eventually go back into the water. So what you'll see is that there will be a limit to the amount of evaporation. So if you had a water bottle and you put it in the warm car with the lid on and you looked at it how much the level was, uh, as, soon as, as soon as you've got water droplets on the inside of that bottle, that level will never go higher. The, the, lever, the water level won't drop, the gas level won't drop, they stay in a continuous equilibrium. So what's happening is that the, the molecules have enough energy to escape and the warmer the, that it is, the more molecules have escaped. Eventually, if you get it warm as boiling, then every single one of the molecules have the energy to escape, and that's what boiling is. So if you were to have a liquid here, this is ethanol, um, ethyl alcohol. If you had it there and there's um, initially nothing above it, eventually some of, that, some of those molecules would have sufficient energy to escape and you would have vapor above the liquid. Anything that retouches is gonna be absorbed again. And so you have what's called an equilibrium. The same rate of escape is the same rate as recapture. Eventually you can't have any more gas above that. That's called the vapor pressure. The vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the, the gas component of the stuff that's, that's in the liquid phase. So if it's water, then the vapor pressure is the, is the vapor, the water vapor, that's trapped above it in a closed container. And eventually it's going to reach a state to where um, at a certain temperature, as long as the temperature doesn't change, the um, more will come out then more is in there that's going to bang around and eventually hit the water again and be recaptured by the water. So there'll be a time that it doesn't exert any more pressure. The vapor pressure will, will eventually become constant when it's at equilibrium. So the liquid and the vapor reach equilibrium. That's called dynamic equilibrium. It's called dynamic because if this is the surface, um, if, this, if this is the surface, then all the ones that are escaping are as the same as the ones coming back down. So you're going to get some out, some in, some out, some in, some out, some in, and the same amount of out is the same amount of in. That's a dynamic equilibrium.